The wait is now finally over, the countdown timer that we have had, well, kind of been looking at for the last 10 days, has now finally hit zero. Um, and, and then some, it went down to quite a lot more than that. But that's not important, because right now the countdown is over, and uh, we finally know what this QR code is about. And, uh, oh, I better put uh, this out here right now, PSA. Um, if you're one of those snowflakes that really still believes kind of Santa Claus is real, um, you probably should click away from my video now, because I'm probably going to spoil stuff for you. So, uh, yeah, heads up to you guys. Don't say I didn't warn you. This leads to the video that we did find last week as well with um, the community manager of EW sh talking about the new reserve clue and uh, we're gonna take a look at that right here there has actually been found more stuff during the time as well well since the uh, countdown went to zero we're gonna go through that too but it's just gonna be mainly focusing on what I think it is gonna be how I see this going and uh, yeah then if you didn't know now you know but here is that video Congratulations, you just found one of the in-game hints. Now these hints do relate to the next reserve that's coming out in Call of the Wild, and this hint is probably the best of the bunch because I am proud to let you know personally what the next reserve is gonna be, and it is none other than And then the video cuts out there. However, there has been found more QR codes around. One has been found on Medved on a rock somewhere, and that one is the one leading to the picture where it says, Strive, Live, Abide. That picture has since been tied to the Hotika Gorge in New Zealand, because, uh, well, it's basically completely identical, where they've taken that and just put some words on it. So definitely a hint that... Um, in my opinion, we're definitely going to be looking towards New Zealand for this new reserve. I can only imagine that two other QR codes has to be out there in the world somewhere that hasn't been found. One leading to the crossword puzzle that you can find on the Discord if you want to give it a try yourself. A lot of people have solved it. It doesn't really seem to be giving a lot of clear indication of what it could be. And the other one is the one where we have a picture where the URL to that picture was called Osarg. And um, that has actually led a lot of people to believe that we might be going to the Ozark mountain range in the US. But I think the majority of people still both hope and think we're going to New Zealand with everything pointing that way, at least in my opinion. Also, I would be really bummed to see another US reserve drop so soon after we just got Silver Ridge Peaks. I am really, really hoping for, if not a New Zealand reserve, hopefully Australia. But... Um, if they're going to do something out of the ordinary and just give us a second African reserve, I'm not going to be complaining about that either. However, three more pictures has actually been found on the website by the community. And this is basically just confirming that we found the clues. It's all it says in the pictures and uh, yeah, kind of just confirming what we already kind of knew. But what could we expect to see on a New Zealand reserve? Definitely obvious ones. I know a lot of people will be complaining if we get Red Deer on a fourth reserve. I personally wouldn't mind. Red Deer is one of my favorite animals in the game to hunt. But also, it could be a spot for Fallow Deer, which I would love. I would love to have another place where I could go and hunt Fallow Deers because I'm not the biggest fan of hunting Fallow Deers on Hirschfelden. After the rabbit update, I have been spending a lot more time on Hirschfelden for sure, but it's still just, I would love a little more open area kind of thing for uh, finding <laughs> fallow deer. Also, apparently New Zealand is the only place in the southern hemisphere where you will be able to find whitetail. This could actually mean that we could have whitetail on another map as well. That is something that has been requested a lot by the community, and I would be all for that. Also... I mean, goats, rams, uh, goes without saying with, uh, with New Zealand. Um, also, European rabbits is a pest in New Zealand. So that would really make sense with them adding the European rabbit to uh, Hirschfelden. But uh, let me know in the comments what you think. We're going to have a lively discussion over on twitch.tv forward slash segdk as well as well on the Discord. Um, you're more than welcome to join any of them, but I'd love to know your thoughts. What other animals do you expect to see there? There's got to be some kind of waterfowl as well. I'm pretty sure we might be looking at getting a few new species as well. And one of them that I really want to see 
is the tar. That could be awesome. I don't know. I, I think that's going to be a, a super cool hunt to, to have at least. It, probably going to be somewhat similar to most of the Ibex hunting, I would imagine. But on the other hand, it would be nice to have at least something up in the higher altitudes. Um, of other new animals, I also think that we potentially could be looking towards maybe some Rusa deer, maybe Sika deer. That would make sense at least. Another deer species that we could be getting could be the uh, Sambar deer. That gets in there. We're going to get a map with a lot of different deer. And um, I think the majority of people playing this game kind of would love to see that. So, uh, yeah. But uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Just a short update kind of confirming what we already knew. And um, I hope to see you on Twitch.